Well, hello there. How are you on this lovely Thursday? Is it Thirsty Thursday? Are you already boozing it up? I am in Stamford, Connecticut. I'm visiting my gunkles, Tony and George. I'm here in this palatious little bed. There's a lot of artwork here at this apartment. Oh, look, we paid thousands of dollars for two red squares. It's advice booth. This thing travels. Um, advice booth this week was all about your friend issues. If you don't know me, Many of you probably do know me. My name is Sarah Frazier. Used to be a radio host and on TV, known as the Voice of Reason. So I started giving advice. Advice video comes out every week on Thursdays. And of course, sometimes uh, you've seen it. It's like a little traveling advice booth. So that goes out too. Your friend issues, we had tons. From friends who are addicted to porn to when do you just let a friend go. Actually, we'll start with the porn one. That was from Raul. Raul says that his good friend is married. And his, they've been married for 13 years, but now he's got a bit of a problem because he's been seeking out single ads. He hasn't actually met any women, but he's singling, or he's looking on single and personal ads and also is addicted to porn. He's admitted to Raul that he's addicted to porn and his wife caught him looking at videos. So Raul's advice is, Sarah, I really think that my friend does need some serious help. He's admitted it, but hasn't taken any action. What can I do? Okay, Raul, I think that your friend is headed for a major train wreck, like honey, Jerry Springer style train wreck. So you need to slow that locomotive down. Um, Raul, you, he's a friend. I would talk to him honestly and candidly. If he says that he has a porn addiction, he needs some serious help. Like Do it David Duchovny style. Maybe he needs to see a therapist. There's some major and fundamental issues wrong with that marriage. I think all you can do, Raul, is give him the advice that he needs to get help and then it's up to him. He is a grown man and it's hard to stand by. Elsie. I love Elsie. She's a big fan. She wrote, and this is a huge dilemma. Sarah, I've got a friend who always wants to go out, but she never has money. She's the girl that goes, oh, hey, can you just spot me? I'll pay you back next Friday on my next paycheck. Elsie. And Elsie's question is, what do I say to her? I'm tired of her saying she'll reimburse me and she doesn't. Girl, I'd be like, I'd only invite her out on payday. And then I'd be like, you got paid today. You can pony up the cash. We all have a friend that's like that, Elsie. If you love her and you want to be with her, I think that you take her out and you know that you're going to pay for everything and you're not going to get reimbursed. If not, I would be brutally honest with her and be like, I'm on a budget. Sister, I'm on a budget too, okay? Everybody is. Andrea said, Sarah, my friend and I, we have a mutual acquaintance who is a gossip girl. She loves to spread rumors. She told my good friend a rumor that I absolutely isn't true and I never said. Other people are vouching for me. My friend texted me though and she said... Uh, I just don't think we can be friends anymore. I don't know who to believe. Do I even try? Andrea, I think it all comes down to if you value the person. And you're the bigger person on this one. So one of the best pieces of advice I ever got is if it's important to you, do it in person. She texted you, but Andrea, I would take my girlfriend out and I would say to her, look, you know I love you. I didn't say this rumor. I care about you. I would never do this. And... I would just leave it at that. You have nothing to prove to her. If she believes you, great, but you're not going to chase her forever trying to be her friend and convince her of something. Sonia writes, my best friend and I are drifting apart. This was a big theme, by the way, for many of your emails and tweets. Um, she's married, or she is seeing a married man, which I disapprove of. The married man has told her she doesn't, he doesn't want the two of us hanging out. She lies to me constantly about being with him. She's pushing me away. What do I do? Sonia, girl, she's going to need you really soon. Um, also, married men never leave their wives, okay? Here, let me repeat this for you. Married men never leave their wives. You may want to re rewind this, and if you have a girlfriend, send it to her. Sonia, I would tell her and be honest with her. It sounds like you disapprove of her seeing this married guy she's been seeing for three years. I would tell her that. I would tell her that you will always be your friend if that's how you feel. And she will be back to you. But in the meantime, she is convinced that she's going to stay seeing this married man. Ugh. It's so frustrating. I think it might be a good idea for you two to take a break. And Christy wrote, um, hey, Sarah, my friend is married with a baby. Uh, I've dropped thousands of dollars over the years on her. I text her. She doesn't respond or call me back for about a week. Yet I see on Facebook that she's out getting pedicures and hanging out with other girls. We've been friends since high school. Do I let her go? So, Christy, I think this is what you have to ask yourself. Are you just upset about the money? 
Or is she truly busy and she just has other friends? I think this is the thing. I sense from your email that you might be a little bit jealous. And I totally get that. I've I've been there too, like been jealous of friends. Um, some of my friends from college, they'll get together without me and I'll see it on Facebook and it always stings for a second. But Christy, if you love and care about her, I, and I know you said too in your email that you two have had the conversation um, about drifting apart. It always ends in a fight. I would just be, if you want to see her, I'd be really positive. Text her and be like, hey, I'd love to grab coffee and see what she says. I do think that we go through different friends at different periods of our lives. And Christy, the truth is she may be separating from you. And as hard as it is, I would know that it's not you, that maybe you guys are growing in different directions. And I would put in effort if you want, but it is a two-way street and just see what happens. She may never contact you if you don't reach out to her. And as hard as that is, you would want to know it. So um, next week's advice booth, what should it be about? You know, you can always email me. It might be about car trouble because I actually had to just drop $1,500 on my left front light of my car. Can you repair lights? Could you email me? Sarah at hayfrage.com. I have some major headlight drama. Anyway, if you have a suggestion on what advice booth should be anytime, I think it might be a free-for-all next week, actually. You decide. Um, you can email me. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at HeyFrage. I always follow you back. And I'm looking forward to giving you more advice and seeing you soon. Bye.